there's just this oddly vocal number of people that get really uh, sensitive when you make fun of Eminem, which yeah. I've always thought is like the ultimate irony because his whole gimmick was making fun of people. Yeah. <laughs> Like, how are you going to be like, how dare you make fun, how dare you treat Eminem irreverently? Oh, <laughs> you mean like how he did to everyone? <laughs> everyone ever? <laughs> An another, he, uh... Another... He fucking dissed Dr. Dre, for God's sake. <laughs> what, what, when did he do that? Remember, uh, in the Guilty Conscience song. Oh, yeah, that's I right. Take advice from somebody who slapped D. Barnes. <laughs> 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 Which, oh, goodness, um... Uh, if you don't know about that, do you know about that? No. I've always wondered about that line. Okay, so a little history. Um, mm. So Eminem, I mean, excuse me, Dr. Dre, back during, um, this is after N.W.A. broke up. But they were on the uh, the West Coast answer to self-destruction. You ever heard this song? No. Uh, so so uh, Karis, <laughs> I'm going back even further now. Uh, KRS One did got a whole bunch of East Coast MCs together to do uh, self destruction, which was like, "Hey, we're gonna get all these rappers together to tell people to stop gang violence." Okay. Uh, and it's like, "Hey, it's good idea, great movement." Yeah. And then like the and then like West Coast rappers were like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> well we're gonna do a song about how you need to stop the violence too." <laughs> and um, they did their version, and it was called a. Uh, um, we're all in the same gang. Oh my god, I have heard both of these songs, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, and theirs fucking sucked. <laughs> oh, like, I, I don't really like any song that's like, you know, let's get a whole bunch of people together for a cause. They're hardly ever anything good. You know, like, We Are The World, or <laughs> anything like that. I'm normally not a big fan. And Stop The Violence, like... I mean, I, I appreciate its message, especially, um, especially under the time. What was that? Was that especially oh! for the time? You know. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. My uh, my dog is barking. Yeah. What, <laughs> what I was gonna say was, especially understanding where KRS One was coming from, having lost Scott LaRock, that yeah, yeah, I understand his message, mm -hmm. but um, you know, the song just wasn't that great. But yeah, the West Coast version. I remember hearing that on uh, satellite radio. And I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? Don't you know we've got to get ourselves together? Uh, it's all coming uh, back. Although Humpty Hump's part was pretty cool. Where oh, he, he had a part in that? Yeah, where he was talking oh, shit. to... He, his Humpty Hump was talking to Shock G. That was really cool. Well, I, I do like me some uh, some uh, digital underground. Uh, but anyway, back, back, to, back to the explanation, okay? Yes. So, uh... You know, they're like, all right, West Coast artists, let's have a West Coast version. Yeah. And they got it together. And it's like, amongst the other problems that happened, uh, they got they got Easy e and uh, MC Ren and Dr. Dre on the song. Okay. After they had broken up. Oh, no. <laughs> so <laughs> they have this. So you have this song about how, hey, guys, we should stop fighting. And. These two guys can't even be on the same set together. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> like, it was, um, I think, yeah, it's, a. Uh, let me see. Oh, sorry. We're all in the same game, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I, I, I remember it being like, wait a minute, aren't uh, Easy e and MC Ren, aren't they? Aren't they, shouldn't they still be in the same group with Dr. Dre? What, what, why aren't they, like, rhyming with him, you know? Oh, yeah. Me. It was Dr. Dre and MC Ren rapping together. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, like, there's, like, <laughs> four verses in between. Excuse me, like, five verses, <laughs> and then Easy E's part at the end. And oh, the rest wow. of the WA is, like, nowhere to be found. Wow. And, <laughs> and, 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 and like... Easy E is like spitting rhymes about how like, you know, oh, uh, you shouldn't be violent. You shouldn't kill people. I was like, R really? Are are you telling me that, Easy E? <laughs> you know really? what I mean? Like, yeah. are niggas with attitude telling me that I shouldn't be violent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is like, oh, uh, this doesn't work. And, and then he even says at the very end, take notes from Easy E, the violent <laughs> hero. <laughs> Oh my god. 
<laughs> and so, okay, on top of that, apparently during the shooting of the video, he had um beat up he had beat up D Barnes. And I can't remember for what reason, but it's just like you know, when when that got out, it was just like, oh wow. Uh <laughs> oh, wow. you know, you're like how how the hell are you gonna be talking about stop the violence and on the set of your video you uh apparently beat the shit out of a woman for reasons that we don't even really know. We just know that it fucking happened. It's just like, what the fuck? Not Damn. that it would be justified either fucking way. But yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like of all the things that could have happened on the set of a video, you know, like like for real, like what were, 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 were you really getting into it? With someone on the set of a video that was supposed to be about nonviolence, like was that the fucking time? You yeah. know, <laughs> it's like it's like you did that shit on purpose, <laughs> like. Like you specifically wanted to undercut the whole fucking message of the song. Yeah, I, I just looked up what happened, and uh, wow. I, as far as I'm seeing, it apparently wasn't even on the set of the actual video. It was uh, at a record release party some somewhere in Hollywood. Oh, so, so it wasn't there. But still, it's pretty damn bad look. Uh, th this is what happened. He picked her up by her hair and began slamming her head and the right side of her body repeatedly against a brick wall near the stairway. Wow! As his bodyguard held off the crowd with a gun. Oh my god! After Dre tried to throw her down the stairs and, fail and failed, he began kicking her in the ribs and hands. She escaped and ran into the women's restroom. Wow. Holy shit. How and is how is that not like a career threatening thing? I I, I don't know. I, I remember people and even then, fucking Eminem brought it up. I, but I guess everyone was just like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, right? Like it's just some inside reference no one gets. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, see that's what I mean. Like when he said you're gonna take advice from somebody who slapped D Barnes, y yeah. A that, little, a little more than that, Am. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, and, huh? No, I was just gonna say it's, it's like it's like if you're a, it's like if you're on a song and you're dissing Chris Brown and you're like, really, are you gonna take shit from the guy who calmly asked Rihanna to stop? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna take advice from somebody who uh, who had a disagreement with Rihanna. <laughs> yeah, who had, a, who had a civil disagreement. <laughs> But yeah, okay. Now, now, see, I'm the type of person who, you know, as unjustified as this is in yeah. any way, shape, and form, I'm like, you know, he didn't just like feel like beating the crap out of D Barnes, you know, like something had to happen, right? So I'm like, okay, <clears throat> what happened? Yeah, you know, like this, 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 there had to be some sort of rational or irrational thinking le that led to this. Yeah. Well. Let oh. Dr. Dre explain! Oh, good! I'm glad we have more background. <laughs> okay. After her 1990 interview with Ice Cube, in which the rapper discusses his leaving NWA at the height of their feud, the group, feeling they had been negatively portrayed, sought retaliation. Oh. Dr. Dre says, People talk all this shit, but, you know, somebody fucks with me. I'm gonna fuck with them. I just did it, you know? Ain't nothing you can do now by talking about it. Besides, it ain't no big thing. I just threw her through a door. <laughs> with MC Ren adding, yeah, the bitch deserved it. <laughs> and Easy E, yeah, bitch had it coming. Oh, no. Now look, I I'd like to think that in the last 25 years or so, he he's... He's grown more mature. Uh, although that song "I Need a Doctor" would not be saying anything to that. Uh, no. <laughs> to that. Uh, to that. To to uh, to add to that, especially with the whole aftermath is back, faggots. It's like yeah, really? rhyming rhyming maggots with faggots. It was like ah, like, what the hell really? is this? <laughs> it's like really, son. Are are we still doing this? Are, are we gay back in two thousand? Oh God, that was two thousand ten. Yeah, that, that is an old song, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he says, um... 
He said, yeah, but like that, that's the reason. Let, let, it, let it not be misunderstood. The reason why he mercilessly beat the crap out of this woman is because she did an interview with Ice Cube. Wow. Like, well, shouldn't you be rolling up on Ice Cube then? Yeah, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, what, what could she have possibly said in interviewing the person that you're at odds with right now that wouldn't be worse than what he had said? Yeah. Like, not that you should have done anything at fucking all, especially to someone who had nothing to do with whatever the hell you guys uh, had going on. But if you're going to go after somebody, why not the person that you actually don't like? Dude, <laughs> I, I, I would also like to think if that shit to that extent happened today, dude, that would just be the end of it. Yeah, Dr. Green would not have a career. No, he would be shunned from every fucking place. <laughs> he better be th- he, he better be thanking his lucky stars like every damn day. Like, like, thank God there was more important shit going on. Yeah. People weren't paying any attention to me. <laughs> I bet you he ain't say shit when that old Chris Brown and Rihanna thing popped off. Oh, no. He, he probably kept his fucking mouth shut. Yeah, like, you see Jay-Z over there, like, mean mugging and, like, yeah, fuck you, and, and Dre's over there, like, well, now. <laughs> what, now, now, let's listen. <laughs> yeah. Hear both sides. Hear him out. <laughs> let's uh, not jump to conclusions. Yeah, let's not be hasty. <laughs> 